Hi everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I clean and set up my Moyu RSM Maglev Pyraminx. Uh, today you'll just need a towel or something like that to clean your cube with, screwdriver and the jewel adjustment tool and whatever silicon based and water based loops that you usually use. So first of all we need to disassemble the cube so that we can clean it and then we can start setting it up properly. So to do this we just need to remove the tips from the cube, which are quite loose so you can just pull them off. And then we need to make sure that we've loosened all of the tensions because pyraminxes can be quite hard to take apart just because of the different shapes of the pieces. So to start with we need to use the adjustment tool that we get with the cube um, to loosen off all of the tensions in each tip by just rotating it until you hear like a bigger click that means you've gotten down to zero. After we finish with that, we need to loosen off all of the sides so that we can take apart the cube and basically just pull off the tip and take out the middle pieces. So to do this, we just need to loosen up all of the screws on each side so that they're completely taken out and then we can completely disassemble the cube and clean all of the parts. So we'll start off on one side just loosening the screw and once it's loose enough you'll just be able to pull out that piece and the pieces around it and we can start loosening off the other sides so that in the end we just have the core and all of the disassembled parts. Next we need to clean the pieces to make sure that there's no leftover lube from other times that you've put lube into the cube. So I like to use a towel for this but some people might use like a wet cloth or a toothbrush. To start with we'll just be cleaning the like edge pieces I guess. They don't usually get that dirty so you mostly just need to give them a wipe over to make sure that there's no actual lube that you can see left on them so they don't look dirty but once you've done that they'll kind of be fine. Next we'll be cleaning like the centre pieces or like yeah they're more central and for this you just need to make sure that you get into all of the grooves and make sure that there's no lube left over in them because I usually lube quite a lot into those centre pieces so you need to make sure you get into all of the nooks and crannies to make sure that they'll be completely clean. Then you just need to generally make sure that the core doesn't have any hair or stuff wrapped around it because that can happen and then just maybe just wipe it over to get any lube off that might be hanging around. Now we're going to be cleaning the screws and the pieces that the tips clip onto. So for these pieces we just need to make sure that we've d cleaned out all of the inside and outside and um, to make sure that we can relube them so that they work as best as possible and the tips can spin quickly and for the screw and the blue adjustment piece that's inside we basically just need to clean them to make sure that there's nothing left on them and that they don't get like sticky and if they get too much water-based lube on they could go a bit rusty so we just need to make sure that doesn't happen
Once we've cleaned all of these internal pieces, we need to put them back together. So you just need to make sure that you've pushed the screw and the blue piece in enough to make sure that they've clicked in so that they're all aligned and then put them back into the central pieces. That's easy because the magnets just stick them together. Next, we're going to be reattaching the central pieces to the car. So we just need to make sure that the screws lined up with the car and then we screw it in. Um, you don't want to screw it in too tight at the moment because we still need to reassemble the cube. And then after we've reassembled it, we can make sure that it's tensioned properly so that all the sides are tensioned the same amount and there's no, it's not too loose so it won't pop or anything like that. Once we've screwed on one side, we can kind of use that as the baseline for the other other edges to make sure that they're kind of around about tensioned the same amount so that we don't have too much work to do later on when we're trying to get them equal. Now we're just going to start with a bit of lube. So for this part, we'll probably use heavier silicon lube. So I use Ignis from Cubes UK. And for this, I basically just need a really small amount on the pieces where the core and the pieces meet. So like that right top bit, just to make them kind of less friction and it helps with the turning overall. But you only need a really small amount because you don't want to slow down your cube much. You just want it to last a bit longer without having to re-lube it again. So for the next bit, you'll need a lighter silicon based lube. So I use Terra from Cubes UK and this is just going to be for a few of the pieces. You don't need to lube all of them, but in general, just probably like three. And you need to make sure you do like the bright bit that goes into the core, but not the other pieces because you don't really want to slow it down. You just want to make sure that the core doesn't have too much friction in it. So we'll just lube around that bit that goes right inside the cube. And then, yeah, just do that on a few pieces, not all of them, because again, it will probably slow down your cube quite a lot. The next part you'll need either a quicker silicon based lube or a water based lube is what I usually use. So we're just going to be lubing where the tips is. You can also use a silicon based lube as well as long as it doesn't slow it down too much just to make it last a bit longer because 
I know that when I use this lube, which is Aqua from Cubes UK, um, it doesn't last very long and I have to reapply quite often. So you probably, the easiest way to apply this one is to pull up the purple, if you have this cube, but the um, purple bit on this cube, which is where the tip clips onto, and try and lube underneath it and then spin it around to make sure you break it in a bit. And then obviously just do this on each of the tips. So now I'm going to be using Acra again. This is just to speed up um, the turning of the cube. So we'll probably get it like just onto the edge pieces, not quite right into the center, because otherwise there's not really much point. And then try and spread it out by turning it into all the other pieces until you feel like you've got enough that your cube's sped up as much as you want it to be. You can always apply more of this after you've tensioned it if you like think that you need more. But yeah, you just want to apply some to make sure that you speed up your cube a bit to make so that you can turn as quickly as you want to. Now we're going to start retensioning the cube. So to start this off, we'll use a screwdriver to just tighten up the screws to make sure that it's generally tight enough that we won't have any major, well, any pops at all, hopefully, because it's not really the kind of cube that you should be getting pops on. You should just have it tight enough so that you can still turn as quickly as you want, but it won't pop. So you need to make sure before we start doing the other adjustments that all of these are screwed into the same depth. So you just test this by pulling apart two centers and comparing distances, but also just by feel kind of, because sometimes one side will just feel tighter than the other side and you'll have to loosen it off. And obviously, yeah, you need to make sure that you don't have any pops. Now we'll move on to adjusting the tensions with the tool that we're given for the dual adjustment system. So make sure firstly that all of the clicks are set to zero so when it does the bigger click. So I've just done that first by going around and making sure that all of them are set to that setting. And then you can gradually build up which setting that you want it on by making each side the same and gradually building up how many clicks you want it on because um, that will affect how quickly you can turn. I think I have mine on the sixth setting, so on the higher end, but still you might even want it tighter than that just to make sure that it's controllable because obviously it being maglev, it's quite a fast cube. Finally, we just need to put the tips back on and then you can kind of give it a final check to see that it's what you want and so because it will feel more normal with the tips back on and then yeah you've tensioned your and set up your cube properly thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it please like and subscribe for more